Welcome back. President Abdel Fattah Sisi meets on Thursday with visiting Bahraini King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in the Red Sea city of Sharm el Sheikh. The presidential spokesman said that the talks will cover bilateral relations and Arab and regional issues of mutual concern. President Abdel Fattah Sisi met on Thursday with visiting Libya's head of the National Unity Government, Abdel Hamid Dibeba, at the Al Ittihadiyya Palace. The meeting was attended by Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli and head to the intelligence agency Abbas Kamel. During the meeting, President Sisi stressed on the importance of the upcoming elections to achieving the Libyan free will. President Sisi reiterated Egypt's stance on respecting Libya's sovereignty and unity and rejecting all forms of foreign intervention. The president also called for uniting the Libyan army and strengthening the Libyan national institutions. For his part, uh, the Beba expressed his country's appreciation to the Egyptian effort for the Libyan stability and security. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli and Libya's interim Prime Minister Abdel Hamid Dibeba headed on Thursday the 11th session of the Egyptian Libyan Higher Committee. After the committee's meeting, the two premiers witnessed the signing of a number of cooperation agreements between the two sides. The agreements were signed by ministers from the two countries, including agreements in the fields of agriculture, infrastructure, and civil aviation security. The two sides also signed contracts to establish the uh, Adajba Road in Libya and a new power station as well as a number of deals in the fields of housing, petroleum and natural gas. The Beba arrived in Cairo on Wednesday for talks on future ties between the two African neighbors. The visit comes less than five months after Medbouli became the most senior Egyptian official to visit Egypt, Libya. Egypt welcomed the United Nations Security Council statement which encourages Egypt, Sudan and Ethiopia to resume negotiations on Ethiopia's disputed Nile Dam on the auspices of the African Union with the aim of reaching a legally binding agreement on filling and operating the dam within an acceptable timetable. Egypt pointed out to the United Security Nations Security Council statement is a boost to the efforts exerted by the African Union to push forward the negotiations which enforces Ethiopia to get engaged in the talks with a true political will to reach a legally binding agreement. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri held on Thursday a meeting with visiting Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister of the Democratic Congo and the talks covered all fields of cooperation as well as regional and international issues of mutual concern. A press conference is to be held after the talks. Head of the National Media Authority, Hussein Zain, participated in the Euro-Asian Media Forum in its 17th session in the city of Nur Sultan, Kazakhstan. CEO of the National Radio and Television Corporation of Kazakhstan, Lads Tansban, Ta Tansbani, welcomed Zain, who thanked her for the warm welcome. The two signs discussed ways to activate and implement all media cooperation protocols with Kazakhstan, including exchange of programs and documentaries. The head of the National Media Authority toured the studios of the Kazakh radio and television company in Nur Sultan, accompanied by the CEO uh, in, the in the presence of the Egyptian Council in Kazakhstan. During the tour, the two signs agreed to exchange expertise between the two countries. Egypt reported on Wednesday 531 new coronavirus infections, bringing the total number of cases to 294,482 people since the outbreak hit the country in mid-February last year. The Health Ministry also reported 13 new deaths, bringing the total number of fatalities to 16,908. The Ministry added that 498 patients were discharged from hospitals, rising the number of those who have recovered to 247,948 people.